Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We've got a can of Tippy Canoe Wild Rice Ale by the Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. Goddamn right. Another beer gifted to Redbeard by the awesome, fantastic, super wonderful individual known as Ron, a rep from Lake of the Woods. Ron, I keep saying it. The beard loves you, man. You're like the greatest person, the greatest new friend I've made in a long time. Straight up. You're just an awesome, awesome individual. And I... I want to work more beer festivals. Let's crack this open and let's see what we have got. Not gonna lie, I have had a bit of this beer since I was working with Lake of the Woods at a couple festivals and, you know, was getting people to try it and stuff. So I obviously tried it myself and it's good. So we'll get a picture and then come back and I'll tell you how good and stuff and rambling. She's actually pretty clear. Definite chill haze on the glass though. So you can't really see the clearness. There's a lot of kind of lazy. There's actually like a really, really fine sediment kind of suspended throughout the beer. <clears throat> you can see if you hold it up to the light just so. Doesn't There's no hint of rice really in. You wouldn't know the beer is made with rice. If someone just like poured it to you and was like, here, try this. It just smells like kind of a nice, a little bit of a roasty aroma to it. Like toasted malt kind of-ish. Let's give her a shot. It's really nice. Alright. Apparently, the one of the flavors you get in here is like that a toasted rice flavor. But I don't really know that flavor, so I just get the overall kind of just toasted, malty, a little bit of smokiness kind of in it. I don't know if smokiness is really the right word. Almost like a little bit of a nut brown flavor to it-ish. It's great. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And of course, so many huge, ginormous cheers to you, Ron. You are the man. The man who basically, you made, you made my summer, straight up. You did. I had so much fun because of you this summer. The beard loves you. Lowbruco.ca or com? Can't remember. Com will bring you to Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. They're in Kenora, so they're not really close to anything. <laughs> I believe uh, the, Ron was saying whenever he has to go to the brewery, he generally flies to Winnipeg, which is in Manitoba, and then drives two hours to Kenora. Because I guess Kenora is basically on the border of Ontario and Manitoba. From where I am, North Bay, Kenora is like a 16, 17 hour drive or something like that. It's ridiculous how far you can drive and still be in the same province. Okay, this... uh. This beer is definitely enticing at least one fruit fly. Like, he's just being a... I hate them. They're so tiny. You catch a glimpse of them in your peripheral vision, they turn, and they're gone. Ninja flies. Let's get the rest of this in there. As I spew stuff on me. Good stuff. Summer 2013 marked the opening of Kenora's first brewery in 59 years. Proud of our local brewing heritage, Lake of the Woods Brewing Company uses the same simple ingredients as the brewers of the past. And malted barley, water hops, and yeast. No preservatives, no additives, just beer, plain and simple like it's meant to be. <clears throat> like, they put their ingredients. That's their ingredients. Except this, this particular one also has rice. Like, I, I did it before. It's right here. One second. One second. I don't really have to go anywhere to get it. This coaster, right here, that is what they put in their beer. Barley and hops and water and yeast. It even says on the bottom, 
Blueberries, wild rice, wheat, and honey are also used in some of the beer we brew. But then this side of it tells you all of the other things that are allowed to be in your beer. So if you're making beer and not putting ingredients on your beer, that's why I'm taking marks off right there. Because any one of those things could be in your beer. And a, that's all stuff you don't want in your beer. It's preservatives and artificial flavors and crap. This exceptional Lake of the Woods beer is step mashed with regional malts to which local wild rice is added into the brew, harvested just down the road on Shoal Lake. Tippy's unique mash bill gives the beer a distinctive flavor profile, full bodied with copper and nut, full bodied with copper and nut with mild hop and all natural Ontario. That's the flavor profile? All natural Ontario is all northern Ontario is a flavor. Wild rice, also known as Manumin, translates to the good berry in Ojibwe and has played a major role in the lives of the Ojibwe people in our region for centuries. 25 IBUs, 6% alcohol. But you'd never know. You wouldn't know. It just it just tastes good. And apparently, I'm pretty sure Ron said. The rice for this particular beer is actually harvested by the local Aboriginal peoples. I believe the blueberries for their blueberry beer are also... They used to be all sourced, but because their blueberry beer got so popular, now it's like a year-round thing, they have to source blueberries from other people. But they still get as many as they can from them and help out the local economy and stuff. Lake of the Woods Brewing is bloody awesome. Like, really good. I really wish more of your beers were just like this beer I'm having right now. There's a good chance you are not going to be able to have this beer for a while, anyway. Like, Lake of the Woods has their Big Timber IPA and the Forgotten Lake Blueberry Ale distributed all over the place. Their other beers, not so much. I'm sure they're working on getting there, but and I don't know if Lake of the Woods does any real uh, any like one-off kind of beers, like kind of cool specialty bottles and stuff like that. I don't know. Apparently, the brewery is beautiful. So many people have told me because I work at the beer festivals, helping them out. They're like, "Oh, you're from there? I've been to your brewery. It's so amazing." And I'm like, "No, I'm just helping from North Bay." This is just a really nice, really nice beer. Again, it doesn't, if no one told me there was rice and they just handed me this beer, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know at all. It's so good. It's a nice beer. I want to say like pretty much every beer except the final one that's coming up I'm a big fan of. The one, the final one coming up, maybe my palate shifted a bit, but I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Ron, Ron did a good job of kind of making fun of me for it at the festivals. It was, it was good. Good times. Untapped rating for this beer, 3.47 out of 5, 561 ratings. That's more than I thought it would actually have. I wonder... If any of these were drank, and what's the date on these? 21st, so yeah, I need to go back a while, a ways. Carbonated, well. I'm just wondering if uh, any of these ratings were taken at the beer festival. Right here, Elgin Street. Even took a picture. That's pretty cool. This is the tub. The goddamn tub right here. What happened? What what happened there? What are you doing? Really? Why are, why are you being an ass? There you go. The tub. Ron's tub of annoyance. <laughs> That's how we served our beer out of a tub. Cracking cans, pouring beer, and so many times throughout the day, 
the tub needed to be drained of the damn water. <laughs> but it was still a good time. A very good time. It really was. It's great. It's just a really nice, really, really nice beer. Like, I don't really know. I can't adequately describe the flavor profile of it. I can't, like, it's comparable. I'd say it's kind of maybe a little comparable to an average amber ale. The flavor profile kind of has an amber ale feel to it. Overall taste. But a different amber ale. Different in a good way. Drink number last. No date. No other. There even look. Look at that. This is basically only available in the brewery and a very, very, very small number of places, probably around Kenora. Yet still, packaged on. I can't quite read it. It was a twenty-third of the. That would. I can't tell the month. 04? That's interesting. Uh, maybe it's 04. I want to say it's 04, but I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, dates there, ingredients are there, everything you want is there, and it's a great beer. Rating on this, very solid, 9. It's not mind-blowingly amazing or anything like that, but it's damn tasty, and I recommend that you try it if you're lucky enough to find some. And that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video and thanks again, Ron, the beard loves you. If you like this video, then smash the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, then smash the subscribe button. And if you got some to me, put a comment or two in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow. A piece of... Almost sounded like I said pea soup there. I haven't had pea soup in a while. Now I want pea soup.